just about to tell you. Hello, and welcome to the Hershey Chocolate Factory Tour. Please remain seated at all times and keep your hands, arms, and legs inside the car. Our journey begins just outside the factory in the dairy fields of Hershey, Pennsylvania. Mr. Hershey built his factory here for one very important reason. And that reason is the pastures full of cows that provide one of the most important ingredients required to make Hershey's milk chocolate. All right, we'll take it from here. <laughs> just about to tell Well, that's true. Here at Hershey, it really is all about the milk. In fact, it's the milk that gives Hershey's chocolate its unique taste. And you better to tell you all about it than our official welcoming committee. <laughs> As you'll see, it's all about the milk. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. It's true that milk is an important part of the process, but let's start at the beginning, here at the Hershey factory, where the cocoa beans arrive from tropical areas all over the world. From here, the beans are sorted as computers supervise the process, sending the cocoa beans through cleaning machines, like the one on the right. Any dried pods, stones, or other foreign matter are carefully removed. Hershey's quality standards are of utmost importance to us, and only after the beans are cleaned and screened are they sent on to our blending machines. Cocoa beans have different flavors depending on where they're grown, and blending machines, such as those on the left, combine beans from various countries in just the right proportions to maintain that unique Hershey's flavor. They're then set ahead to be roasted in large revolving roasters like this one. The roasted cocoa beans are then ready to move on to the next stage of the process. A process that will begin to transform plain cocoa beans into Hershey's milk chocolate. It begins right up ahead with a process known as breaking. With the beans now roasted, they arrive here at the breaking chamber where the shells are shattered into tiny fragments. What's left is called the nib, the part of the bean actually used to make chocolate. The nibs now pass through milling machines, as seen on the left. This grinding process generates extreme heat, which melts the nib into a liquid called chocolate liquor. Of course, this liquid has no alcohol content. This is the liquid from which all chocolate is made. Next, this large press machine is used to squeeze cocoa butter from the chocolate liquor. This cocoa butter will be handed back later in the process to make the chocolate smooth and creamy. Well, now we come to that all-important element, milk. And who better to tell us about it than the experts themselves? The gals are right. Milk is how Hershey's chocolate gets its special flavor and the extra added nutritional value. As the gals say, it's nutritious. In fact, hundreds of farms around this region and thousands of cows supply over a quarter of a million gallons of milk each and every day. We're now in central blending. It's the heart of the Hershey's chocolate making process. Here, milk, sugar, and chocolate liquor are brought together and mixed in just the right proportions to create that special Hershey's taste. As the milk and sugar is combined with cocoa, it's mixed together until it becomes a smooth blend of milk chocolate. But we're not done yet. From here, the liquid chocolate leaves the large containers in this chamber, where it will be dried once again. Yes, that's right. This liquid mixture is now conveyed to dryers, such as the one you see on your left. The dryer removes excess moisture, which results in chocolate crumb. 
the machine up ahead adds cocoa butter into the mix, which transforms it into a smooth chocolate paste, ready for refining. Mm -hmm. What's that wonderful smell? That's right. After all that shaking, breaking, baking, and flaking, we're finally coming up with Hershey's Milk Chocolate. But there's still a ways to go before it's finished. On your left is a series of roll refining machines. The refining process grinds the chocolate until it reaches a uniform and smooth consistency. Next, as seen on your left, the chocolate is further refined by a unique process called conching. These heavy rollers refine the chocolate for up to 72 hours until it reaches a silky, liquid texture. The material that leaves the conching process is called chocolate paste. These machines supply production lines with over 1 million pounds of chocolate paste per day. Now, after all that effort, we're finally ready to make our Hershey's chocolate bar. Here on your right, chocolate bars are leaving the molding line. They're then cooled and removed from the molds, the final step before being wrapped. And with our milk chocolate made to perfection, we then add peanuts, almonds, and other extras to create a world of wonderful chocolate treats. Here you see the completely automated wrapping machines putting the finishing touch on Hershey's world-famous chocolate and candy products. And our tour wouldn't be complete without seeing our famous Hershey's Kisses. Hershey's Kisses are made by dropping a precise amount of chocolate on a moving steel belt and quickly cooling to form the famous Hershey's Kiss Shape. We can make over 60 million Kiss Shape products every day. Thanks for joining us here at the Hershey Factory Tour. We hope you enjoyed your visit and that you'll come and see us again soon. As you just seen, Hershey's Chocolate Factory is a world unto itself. And now you know what goes into creating every single Hershey's chocolate product. We are constantly making and shipping the world's best chocolate to your hometown, wherever it is, to make sure you're never without Hershey's quality products. Our goal at Hershey's is to keep you smiling because bringing happiness to you is what we're all about. Enjoy the rest of your day here at Hershey's Chocolate World.